if there's one core exercise that I would attest to um, in terms of efficiency and effectivity to help with the lower back pain, I would say it would be dead bog. So for today's session, we'll go through dead bog um, and the variations of it. So you can choose which ones works for you or when you progress, which ones um, you should do. So let's go for it. For all these variations, we will have to stay on our back, lying down on our back. We have to make sure that our lower back is not arching. We have to really press it um, to the floor to, to make sure we're not injuring our lower back. The first variation is good for beginners. It's just toe taps. So tap your toes as you extend your opposite arm. Make sure to brace your abs as you do this. Do not rush the movement and really make sure to tighten your abs when you're lowering your leg and your arm. Make sure it's not arching. That's the way to strengthen your core when you're doing this exercise. Try to do three sets of 10 counts on each side. The next variation is slightly harder because you're extending the opposite leg as you lower the, the other arm. The weight is a bit further from your center of gravity, so be very careful that you don't arch your back when you're doing this. Do not rush the move, and when you're fully extended, pause for one to two seconds before you raise your arm and your leg. Also, when your leg and arm are both extended, make sure that the opposite leg still maintains a 90 degree angle with the floor. While being mindful that your lower back is not arching, do three sets of 10 count on each side. The third variation is very similar to the second variation. The only difference is that you're holding a one kilogram weight on each arm. Try to keep your arm straight when you're lowering the arm with the one kilogram weight. Um, without locking your elbow and try to pause at the bottom for one to two seconds before you actually raise both arm and leg and because you have an additional one kilogram weight there's a tendency for you to arch your back so again be mindful that you're not doing this um, and really brace your abs um, so that it's your core that's actually doing the work and not your lower back if you think your form slash technique is suffering, please get rid of the weight. And if you think you can do this properly, again, do three sets of 10 count on each side and add more sets as you progress. For the last variation, um, you will need a yoga block. If you don't have one, you can use a water bottle, or maybe a book. You just need something to press on your leg while your opposite leg is being lowered to the floor. As you can see in the movement, I'm using my right arm to press the yoga block to my left leg and maintaining that 90 degree angle. And at the same time, bracing my abs and making sure my back again is not arching. If this is an advanced movement, so be very careful when you're doing this and only do this when you're really ready. Hope you enjoyed our dead bug session and all the best for 2022.